don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit, I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up and make a statement I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit, I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up and make a statement for the 37th time, we welcome you to WWE 2K22 Universe Mode, Episode 37. This is WWE Main Event, and coming up here tonight in your Main Event Contest, a first-time ever collision between one man who will be participating in the WWE Championship Match at Extreme Rules, taking on a colossal opponent. It's going to be the colossal Omos going one-on-one -on -one with the franchise player, John Cena. John Cena's third match since returning at SummerSlam. Will he be able to topple this man who has been undefeated in singles action since making his WWE debut? But kicking us off here tonight on Main Event, for the first time since the SummerSlam pay-per-view, the almighty Bobby Lashley is here and is in action. Well, Bobby Lashley took to Twitter earlier today to address a couple of things. First things first, he quoted and said, I knew all along that Randy Orton was the one who took out Riddle. Maybe everyone should start paying more attention to what I have to say, especially what I do inside the squared circle. Lashley alluding to the events of this past Monday on Raw, and then he followed up by saying it's time to get back to business. Starting tonight, every superstar better be ready for the hurt that is coming to them by way of the almighty hashtag back to hurt business. Bobby Lashley addressing the WWE locker room, addressing re recent events regarding his career. Lashley looking to get back on track tonight after suffering that loss to Randy Orton at SummerSlam as he's set to go one-on-one -on -one with Oni Lorkin. Well, speaking of trying to get back on track, the last couple of times we've seen Oni Lorcan and Danny Burch inside of this ring, they have been on the losing end of things. This may not be a tag team match here this evening, but a singles win for Oni Lorcan could definitely propel them in the right direction moving forward. It's going to be a great physical matchup to kick us off here on Main Event, a night that will feature the first time ever singles meeting between Omas and John Cena. Can't wait... For that match coming up in our main event is Bobby Lashley taking it to Oni Lorcan right off the opening bell. And going back to those tweets from Bobby Lashley earlier today, Lashley, of course, addressing the fact that it was revealed on Monday Night Raw this past week. Still incredibly shocking information that Randy Orton was the one that put Riddle on the shelf over a month ago. Riddle returning on Monday Night Raw, attacking Randy Orton, laying him out at ringside through a table. And Bobby Lashley clearing his name. Originally, you remember... Randy Orton pointed the finger at the Hurt Business, more specifically, Bobby Lashley. Lashley denied those claims, stated that Randy Orton should basically look in the mirror, as Randy Orton had more to do with Riddle's disappearing than it seemed like Lashley did. That, of course, led to Randy Orton running through the Hurt Business over the last month, defeating all four of those men, and of course, included, concluded with that win over Bobby Lashley at our last pay-per-view in Phoenix, SummerSlam, which you can go check out the replay right here on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel. But Bobby Lashley's name, regardless of the wins and losses, has been clear to those accusations as now it's time to move forward, refocus for the almighty Bobby Lashley. This is a man who was WWE Champion for the better part of a year. Of course, he lost that championship to then-champion AJ Styles at our first Universe Mode pay-per-view backlash. And it seems like for Bobby Lashley, he really hasn't been able to get back on course ever since. He lost the Money in the Bank qualifying matchup a couple of months ago to Riddle. Kind of kicked off that whole situation regarding the Hurt Business at RK Bro. And then, of course, we mentioned Bobby Lashley's most recent biggest loss in his career. So as for Bobby Lashley, he's looking to put the last few months of losses and upsets inside of that ring behind him. Start fresh here tonight and start rebuilding... The almighty era once again. 
Oni Lorcan, on the other hand, looking to make sure Bobby Lashley does not do so on his behalf. Coming after Lashley, they are absolutely laying out the big man. And Oni Lorcan's hanging in there with Bobby Lashley. We've talked about it in the past. Oni Lorcan and Danny Burch, super rough, super tough inside of the ring. And they know how to get it done. Oh, and a nice shot by Oni Lorcan. Those two men, former NXT Tag Team Champions, we've seen them. Wait a minute here. Oni Lorcan, as I guess, take it off the ball. MVP trying to help out his man, Bobby Lashley, and it pays Lashley dividends there. And a nice STO taking Oni Lorcan off his feet. But as we mentioned, Oni Lorcan and Danny Burch, we know they know how to get it done inside of the ring. We've seen them compete for the World Tag Team Championships in recent history. Unfortunately, the win did not go their way. But Lorcan and Burch, even though they've had some recent defeats, a singles victory for Oni Lorcan tonight could absolutely propel that tag team into a future tag team championship opportunity. Meanwhile, Oni Lorcan here eyeing up Lashley and Nate lays, lays him out, excuse me, with that blockbuster. Oni Lorcan going to pick up the upset over Lashley here, but Lashley getting the shoulder off the canvas below. What an upsetting loss it would be for Bobby Lashley if Oni Lorcan's able to pick up the upset here tonight. Obviously, the favor goes to the almighty one in this matchup, but Oni Lorcan's definitely got what it takes to get it done. We saw him the last number of minutes really unloading on Bobby Lashley there. Lashley trying to refocus. You almost smell the sense of urgency and sends Oni Lorcan practically through the canvas with that spine buster. And Lashley's going to start coming unglued here. You can see it in his eyes as he sends Oni Lorcan over the top rope and Lashley going to take a moment to breathe it in here tonight on main event. And Bobby Lashley, as much as he wants to put the hurt on his opponents, you know he'll get his hand raised no matter the cost. Pinfall, submission, or count out in this situation as Oni Lorcan's finally gotten to his feet. He's got his eyes on MVP, but he's got to keep his eye on the ball, and that is the almighty Bobby Lashley who is awaiting that man inside of the ring. And Lashley looking to continue the hurt on Oni Lorcan. As Lorcan comes in, but Lashley grabs him right away. And Oni Lorcan's looking dazed. Lashley going to whip him off. And Lashley with that shoulder block. And again, for Bobby Lashley, he's really got to feel like he's pretty much at ground zero as of late. At the back of the line when it comes to championship opportunities and all of the such. A victory here. Wait a minute. Not enough. Not just yet. Hit that dominator on Oni Lorcan. Unfortunately, for Lashley, Lorcan had that foot under the ropes. And that may pay dividends for Oni Lorcan here. Nice headbutt taking the almighty one off his feet. Both these men trying to get that win here tonight, get the momentum back on their side. Oni Lorcan going for that half Boston here, and Lashley may be in trouble. Oni Lorcan's got this submission hold locked in. Lashley is a bit away from the ropes here. Will he be able to power out? And yes, he does. Oni Lorcan not able to keep the grip. We know how strong Bobby Lashley is inside of the squared circle, able to break out of that submission hold. But Oni Lorcan still staying in this fight as of the current moment. Lashley going for the shot, and Oni Lorcan seemingly has got Lashley rocked here. He's got to take advantage. He's got to stay on the attack. He sends Bobby Lashley over the top rope. Lashley goes down to the floor outside here at ringside into the opposite corner of MVP. And Oni Lorcan going to keep him on the offense here. That is definitely what Lorcan's going to have to do, and it's moves like that that are definitely going to help him get the win here tonight. We're going to take Lashley off his feet at ringside. Lashley is in deep trouble here. We are starting to get into late rounds in this contest. Lashley looking to bring the fight back inside of the ring. Oni Lorcan going to follow. We're at a bit of a stalemate. Lashley grabbing a hold. And now it's got Lorcan in her predicament here. Bobby Lashley slamming him down to the canvas below. There is strength and size at every shot coming from the Almighty One. As he sets Lorcan up again, could be looking for that Dominator. Instead, turns him inside out, and Lorcan eats the canvas for dinner. Lashley into the cover, but again, not paying attention to his ring awareness there. Only Lorcan had his hand underneath the ropes. And Lorcan's fight was saved by the ropes here. Lashley decking him with that clothesline into the cover, but Lorcan barely able to scrap his shoulder off the canvas. So it almost seems like Lashley may be a little bit in his, his own head. After all the recent big losses over the last number of months, 
He's got to make sure he's paying attention to every single strike and position in that ring. He's eyeing up Lorcan right now, and he could be looking for that hurt lock, which he's got locked in deep. And Odie Lorcan's got no choice but to tap out. Got to give credit where it's due. Odie Lorcan put up a hell of a fight in this matchup that clearly the odds were stacked against them. Against the almighty Bobby Lashley, but here tonight on main event, Bobby Lashley getting his first big win in quite a while here. Oni Lorcan took all that Lashley had, but in the end there was no escape for that brutal, deafening submission hold, that hurt lock, absolutely squeezing the pain out of Oni Lorcan in our opening contest here this evening. Bobby Lashley picking up a huge win off that submission. So Lashley's back in the winning column. He's starting from ground zero, but he begins to build momentum here tonight. The question now remains for Bobby Lashley is what is next for the almighty leader of the Hurt business? Will it be championship opportunities or will the Hurt continue to be put on the rest of the WWE locker room as Bobby Lashley has confirmed that the Hurt is back in business? Main event set to roll on here tonight with a little bit of women's division action. First up, Casey Catanzaro is here. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Glen Ridge, New Jersey, Casey Catanzaro. The last time we saw Casey in action was in a losing effort to the current WWE Women's Champion, the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka. And as we found out this past Monday night on Raw, Asuka's next defense is going to come at the Extreme Rules pay-per-view, where she will defend in a triple threat contest against the EST of WWE, Bianca Belair, as well as the women she defeated for that championship at SummerSlam, Shotzi. We've talked about it a lot in recent weeks, a very interesting situation regarding the WWE Women's Championship coming out of our last pay-per-view SummerSlam regarding all three of them's women. That's going to come to a halt the next time we come your way for Universe Mode pay-per-view at Extreme Rules. But as for tonight, Casey Catanzaro looking to bounce back after a recent loss against the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka, as she is set to go one-on-one -on -one with a returning goddess, Alexa Bliss. Alexa Bliss making her return here tonight on main event after a recent hiatus. Speaking of the women's championship, this is a woman who is very familiar with the gold. She has been a Raw women's champion, a SmackDown women's champion. She has held the Money in the Bank briefcase. That was the briefcase that got Asuka the WWE women's championship in the first place. So Alexa Bliss back in action tonight. She's going to be going one-on-one -on -one with one of the hottest stars in the women's division today, Casey Canzaro. A woman who made her WWE main roster debut a little over a month ago. She has impressed ever since. We've seen her in action a lot here on main event. Let's see if she can bounce back or will the return of Alexa Bliss pay her dividends here. Alexa and Casey Catanzaro rolling us on here on main event. Casey immediately taking the fight to Alexa Bliss right off the opening bell. Alexa down and out. Just moments after the bell goes off, and Casey Catanzaro going to continue the offense, trying to come out hot here and come out swinging against the returning goddess. And Casey Catanzaro, we briefly talked about how impressive she has been. She's earned a victory over Mickey James recently here on main event, as well as a tag team victory alongside the EST of WWE, Bianca Belair. And meanwhile, she's heading up to the top, going for a Phoenix Splash early, and she lands it flush. And that flurry of offense from Casey may have thrown Alexa off her game. Into the cover she goes, but Alexa Bliss getting the shoulder up. Very early on in the match to keep someone of Alexa Bliss's caliber down. As we talked about, she's a former multiple-time women's champion. She's been at the top of the mountain in the past. She knows how to get it done inside of the squared circle. And will the surprise of her return tonight for Casey Catanzaro pay Alexa Bliss dividends and help her get her hand raised? 
And again, the last time we saw Casey inside of the ring was in the role after SummerSlam. She was awarded a championship opportunity. And there she goes again with that Phoenix Splash. This time springboard to Bliss. And Bliss gets the shoulder up again. But Casey is looking awesome in this contest since we've begun here. She goes for the top. Goes for the Phoenix Splash again. But going to the well too many times. Alexa Bliss sidesteps it here. And Bliss may have Casey scouted. As she goes under. Look at that. Able to take Casey off her feet. A little bit of a code red by the goddess here. But as we are about to mention, the last time we saw Casey Catanzaro inside of the ring was on the Raw after SummerSlam, where she was rewarded an opportunity against Asuka for the WWE Women's Championship. And Casey looked awesome on that night. She put up a hell of a fight against Asuka, but unfortunately for her, Asuka tapping her out to the Asuka lock on that night. And of course, walking out to WWE Women's Championship. But again, coming up at the Extreme Rules pay-per-view, our next Universe Mode pay-per-view right here on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel. It's going to be the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka, defending the championship against the woman she cashed in the Money of the Bank briefcase against, that being Shotzi, as well as the women Shotzi defeated at SummerSlam, Bianca Belair. And Asuka going into the, excuse me, Alexa Bliss going into the cover here on Casey Catanzaro after that moonsault. A classic Alexa, Alexa Bliss maneuver. And Casey's down. She had Alexa Bliss down and out in the first few moments, but the momentum has shifted into the corner of the goddess here. Into the cover she goes, but Casey Catanzaro reaching out. Good ring awareness there by Casey, able to get her hand on the ropes. And Alexa going to continue the fight, coming out with a flurry here. Casey's down. Alexa, moonsault with the knees. It may have just taken the win out of Casey Catanzaro's sails. Alexa Bliss heading to the top rope. Eyeing up her opponent here this evening. Casey to her feet. Alexa goes for the missile drop kick, but she miscalculates it. Fortunately for Casey Catanzaro, but Casey not able to capitalize there. Alexa taking the fight to Casey Catanzaro right now. Catanzaro's got to mount some offense here. And she is definitely going to be on the losing efforts of this contest. Alexa Bliss is guying up Casey Catanzaro for something here. Oh, she's going to pull her away from the ropes to go for the cover, and that's smart here because obviously a minute ago, Casey Catanzaro was able to use her ring awareness and get that rope break on Alexa Bliss. So smart for Bliss to pull her away there, but I think that may have gave Casey Catanzaro some time to recoup. She takes the momentum back as she sends Alexa Bliss over the top rope and down to the floor here on main event. Alexa's down. Meanwhile, Casey Catanzaro going for the corkscrew, but Alexa Bliss out of harm's way. Unfortunately for Casey there, and she gets her back broken on the knee. A little bit of miscalculations with the high-flying maneuvers in this contest. There's a reason they call it high-risk, high-reward, no matter the division here in the WWE. And Alexa Bliss... Back in control of this contest. And Casey may be in trouble. Alexa going for a bit of a submission hold here. Bit of a camel clutch variation. This may be enough to keep Casey Catanzaro down. She's definitely taken some big time offense from the returning goddess in this contest. But Casey, look at this. Able to mount some offense here. Able to break the grip. And down goes Bliss. And Casey takes the momentum back. Goes for the shot. Alexa counters. Now Casey counters on a kick to the leg. Back and forth we go here. And a nice Hurricane Rana takes Alexa Bliss off her feet. Alexa's down. Casey Canzara's got to capitalize here. Keep the momentum going in her favor. Drop kick to the side of the head. And she's got to capitalize. Why Bliss is down? Wait a minute here. Corks. Look at that. Nice maneuver with that cartwheel leg drop there. Casey into the cover on Alexa Bliss. Will that be enough to keep her down? But Bliss gets the shoulder up. And what a great women's division match we got going on right now between the young Casey Catanzaro and the returning Alexa Bliss just moments before we get to our highly anticipated main event between John Cena and Omas. And Alexa Bliss not able to keep Casey Catanzaro down just yet. But wait a minute. The goddess is heading up to the top rope. She knows how to be effective from up there. Twisted Bliss. And that may be all she wrote for Casey Catanzaro here tonight. And it is. 
Credit where it's due, Casey Catanzaro, every time she steps foot inside the square circle, continues to get better, continues to impress. But unfortunately for her, the returning aspect of the goddess here tonight, she gets keep kept down by Alexa Bliss. Great contest from both women, but the goddess getting her hand raised here in her return matchup tonight on main event. A great contest out of our women's division here. Big time win for the goddess. Here is your winner, Alexa Bliss. Well, the women's division here in WWE continues to heat up and continues to get interesting. A returning Alexa Bliss now gets added as an X Factor. Well, coming up on our next episode of Universe Mode on Monday Night Raw, the road to Extreme Rules continues on in the main event. It's going to see all day Austin Theory going one-on-one -on -one with Mustafa Ali. What a great matchup that's going to be. But earlier today, we moved to the Prince, Finn Balor, who took to Twitter to state this. He said, now that Jeff Hardy is out of the way, it's time to focus on the gold yet again. I got my eyes on you, at Pete Dunne. My recent wins speak for themselves. I want the next shot. The Intercontinental title is mine. The Prince Finn Balor marking the X on the spot that he wants. And the match has been made official. The Bruiserweight accepts the challenge. And coming up at the Universe Mode, Pay-Per-View Extreme Rules. Pete Dunne defends the Intercontinental Championship one-on-one -on -one against Finn Balor. It's the Prince versus the Bruiserweight. And the gold's on the line. What a match that is going to be. Coming up for the next time we come your way on Pay-Per-View. But it is now time for your main event. And the franchise is in the house. John Cena, will he be able to topple his colossal opponent here tonight as we get set for this first time ever meeting? The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from West Newberry, Massachusetts. Playing in at 251 pounds. John Cena has been nothing short of successful since making his WWE return at SummerSlam. He was called out by Austin Theory. Cena accepted the challenge and showed his face in Phoenix where he got his hand raised against the self-proclaimed future of the WWE. Cena followed it up on the roll after SummerSlam where he teamed up with longtime rival and new WWE champion, the Rated R Superstar Edge. As those two men were able to defeat Austin Theory as well as his tag team partner of his choosing on that night, the colossal Omos. Which leads us to this contest here tonight. Omos continuing to be undefeated in singles action since making his WWE debut. But will John Cena be able to overcome those odds on the road to extreme rules? A first time ever battle as Cena meets the colossal Omos. For the very first time, this is going to be one hell of a main event inside of that squared circle. And his opponent from Lagos, Nigeria, weighing in at 400 pounds, Omos. As Omos makes his way to the ring, we remind you that our next Universe Mode pay-per-view extreme rules. The WWE Championship will be on the line in a five-man elimination challenge. Austin Theory, Mustafa Ali, the phenomenal AJ Styles, the franchise John Cena, and the rated R superstar and defending champion Edge. Five men will enter, only one man will be left standing, and one man will leave the WWE Champion. What a main event that is going to be. Coming up at Extreme Rules. But all eyes are focused on the match here tonight. First time ever battle. This giant, who's yet to be defeated in singles contests since debuting in the WWE, meets his biggest match to date. But John Cena may be walking into his toughest challenge to date. We know John Cena has been able to get it done against the bigger opponents over the years. The Big Show, Kane, Mark Henry, the Great Khali. John Cena has seen them all, and he has defeated them all. But Omas... There's something different about that man. He's got the size. He's got the stature. He's got the strength. He's also got a bit of agility inside of that ring that we have seen in his recent actions inside of the ring. Will all those tools be too much for John Cena to handle as we are getting set for our main event contest here, first time ever. And so far, these guys are brawling since the opening bell. 
Cena going up on Omos. This is what Cena's got to do in this contest. Strike fast and strike hard and try to take the big man off his feet. But that's where John Cena's going to struggle as Omos using his strength to his advantage and just able to shove the franchise right out of his way. And John Cena going for a ride there and Omos has got to be feeling some type of way. Although he wasn't the man pinned in that tag team matchup on the Raw after SummerSlam, you know that he's got to be upset taking a loss on that night. As we mentioned, he's still been undefeated in singles action. A tag team match may be a blemish on the record, but as for Omos, every time it has been one man versus another inside of that ring, he has walked out with his hand raised. This is definitely the biggest match of Omos' career as he gets sent over the top rope. John Cena using his momentum there and using the ropes to his advantage, able to send Omos up and over. Absolutely the biggest match of Omasa's career. That tag team match on Raw was certainly a spectacle. But now there's no Austin Theory. There's no Edge. It's just John Cena standing across the ring from this giant here tonight. And for John Cena, he wants to continue that momentum. As we mentioned, and as he goes down, and I got to cut myself off there because what a fall for the franchise as Omas just hits that jackknife-like powerbomb there and follows it up with this camel clutch. Damage is going to be done to the back of John Cena. And Cena's got to be feeling this here. Cena, only one of few men that's probably going to be able to break the strength of Omos and take him off his feet momentarily. But you notice how fast Omos is able to get back up. And Cena, look at that. Pulling out different offense to take the giant off his feet. And Cena going to send him off. And as we were mentioning for Cena tonight, it's about continuing that momentum. He's got that WWE Championship opportunity coming up at Extreme Rules. He's been 2-0 since making his return. He doesn't want a blemish on the record going into that big-time opportunity on pay-per-view as Cena comes from the top rope. Crossbody takes Omos down. Into the cover goes the franchise. And he gets the two count, but Omos gets the shoulder up. Cena's looking good. Omos is hanging in there, though, and he's definitely put some big hurt on John Cena in the early going of this contest. But Cena's striking fast, and he's definitely striking effectively. Omos is down, and Cena going to look to continue the momentum. John Cena's got Omos in a predicament here, but he's got to keep the offense going. Cena can't let Omos take time to rest, and I got to disagree with what Cena's doing here. Got to get in the crowd behind him. Well, given time, Omos, given time for Omos to get to his feet. Luckily for Cena. Still striking hard and taking Omos down. Cena back into the cover, and we saw him in this predicament earlier. Omos pinned, and it ends the same way. Cena's got to learn from those mistakes. Omos had it scouted, and this time he takes Cena off his feet with a striking big boot to the head. And a two count, almost enough to keep John Cena down. Might have been a knockout blow there, but luckily for Cena, he hangs in this matchup. And Omos, wait a minute here, double hands, choke slam, John Cena goes down. You saw how fast Omos grabbed a hold of Cena and set him to the canvas, but Cena somehow, someway able to get the shoulder off the canvas. The heart and the fight of the franchise player, there's a reason. He is a 16-time world champion here in the WWE, and a reason he's been a target for the self-proclaimed future Omos, or excuse me, for the self-proclaimed future Austin Theory, He's the man. He's the reason that Cena able to come back to WWE at the current moment. Cena's got a target on his back. A lot of these young competitors like Omos and Austin Theory, they want to take advantage of John Cena and build a name for themselves off his behalf. Omos taking Cena down. And Cena once again finds himself in a predicament, but there's the fight. Able to corkscrew Omos down momentarily. But you notice throughout this contest, no matter what Cena Seems to throw Omos's way. Nothing is keeping Omos down for a long time. And Cena goes back into the corner, hitting those shots at Omos. And able to get probably the most of them there. Six shots to the head. Definitely going to do a damage on the big man, but Cena following it up with another one there. And Cena's looking good, but he's got to stay on Omos as Omos keeps getting to his feet before Cena can really fully get those strikes in and, and fully get that offense in. And now he's in a predicament. Omos has got him over the head and just hangs John Cena up on the top rope. Now, this is where Omos gets dangerous. This is definitely the longest of his singles matches that we've seen so far. 
Every time we've seen the Giant inside of the ring in singles, in singles contests, excuse me, it's been a pretty fast showing for the Colossal Omos. This is definitely testing his conditioning in this contest and his willingness to survive in those late rounds of a wrestling matchup. Omos's days, John Cena trying to keep it going here. But there's Omos. Cena just not striking fast enough. Not staying Omos. Staying on Omos, excuse me. And Cena, look at that clothesline. After Omos missed one of his own. And now Cena going to the top rope. This worked out for him earlier. This time, Cena comes for the top. Bit of a five-knuckle shuffle variation there. And now he's going to follow it up. And you see Cena's following strategy here. Following it up with the original five Knuckle shuffle on Omos. A little you can't see me, but it knocked out the big man. Cena going into the cover. Will that be enough to keep the giant down? And Omos gets the shoulder up. And Cena really throwing some big strikes there at the big man. Coming from the top rope, hitting that five knuckle shuffle, then following up with another one. Not enough just yet to keep Omos down. You know, Moss's days, if anything, even though he wasn't able to put Omas away, he definitely did some damage here. So Moss, though, is up and a shoulder block. May have just sent John Cena to next week. Cena survives. No Moss, what is going to be his strategy here? Cena trying to fight back, and he does. You know, Moss may be dazed. John Cena taking him down with just a couple of shots there. And you see the shots throughout this contest are starting to add up and they're starting to play more of a factor in Omos. Meanwhile, Cena's eyeing him up here. He gets the big man up. A.A. to the giant. Omos is down. And John Cena picks up the big time victory here tonight on Main Event. That first time ever collision certainly living up to the hype. And Omos, he may have been undefeated up until this point. But the young man still has a long time to go in his career. And tonight the franchise player John Cena just had an answer for the colossal Omos here on main event. John said, wait a minute, wait a minute. Austin Theory's hit the ring and he strikes John Cena. What the hell? John Cena celebrating his victory. But the young man Austin Theory, who has lost twice now to the franchise player John Cena, it's coming up from behind and seemingly trying to make a statement over Cena right now. I do not condone these kind of actions. Austin Theory, who just picked up a win over Randy Orton on Monday Night Raw, is now going after the man who has beat him twice in recent weeks. And a man who will be one of his opponents coming up at Extreme Rules. Cena may have got the win here tonight, but unfortunately for the franchise player, it looks like the last laugh goes to all day Austin Theory. A very exciting episode of Universe Mode main event here tonight. We will see you on Monday Night Raw as the road to Extreme Rules continues. Good night, everybody. Game face on when I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back, I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat, gonna see me rise, you can hate on that, I don't play both sides, doing me no cap, I'm a rock.